Well, good afternoon, everybody. This is the Leavenworth Day from Leavenworth, Washington, 23rd of May. I uh, thought I'd take you folks on a tour of the uh, mother-in-law apartment I'm going to be moving on into here pretty soon once the carpet crew comes. We'll start out here with the front door entrance. This was the type of uh, door here where you bought the whole frame and the door. Uh, I had to do all the caulking, spackling the nail holes, painted the door. Boy, there was plenty of doors, let me tell you. As we move on inside here, I uh, hope there's enough light here. You can see the four doors here. These are the closet doors that are going to be going upstairs in the bedroom. They're all painted and, and ready to go. Once the carpet crew gun comes, they're going to be installed. Uh, you can see the wooden floor has been installed here. This is a nice carpet that the owner Dave brought over for me. Uh, my entertainment center that I'm going to be picking up Wednesday is going to go right smack dab onto there. It's a real dandy little entertainment center. Uh, over here we got the couch. He brought that on over. I totally detailed this, shampooed, uh, vacuum, wiped down, you name it, it's good to go. Uh, let's move on in here to the kitchen area. All the cabinets are installed. The refrigerator that he bought from Darcy is way too big. He was thinking of making a, cutting a box into the garage and flush mount it like that, but his wife Lois is going to take it for the extra freezer space. He's going to be buying a brand new smaller one. As we look in the kitchen here, it's a little nip and tuck. Uh, if you were a big Hawaiian or Samoan, it wouldn't be too good. But as I can demonstrate here, the oven door definitely opens. I have to kind of get in there from the side, but it's going to be fine and dandy. Uh, here we have the uh, cabinets that are installed there with the microwave. Uh, he wasn't too happy with it, so he jacked it up three inches. No problem. We had to uh, cover some holes there, spackle, and repaint it, but no problem. We've got it vented out up there. You can see the vent box cover. It's all squared away, nice and dandy. Got the, uh, the sink is in. Got some more cabinets here. It's going to be just fine. Moving on over here, another door that I painted. There was so much caulking, all that. Boy, let me tell you, Freddie, there wasn't a day that I was here that I didn't think about you. I sure wish you would have been here with me. And I thank you for all the work you gave me, Freddie, and all everything that I learned from you and your patience. Boy, remember when I first started out caulking? Was that ever a trip? <laughs> the caulking gun that wouldn't stop <laughs> caulking all over the place. You're shaking your head. You're a good man, Freddie. Thanks for all that you taught me. Well, here's my bathroom. The toilet's installed. I don't have to go pee pee behind the bush anymore. I'm happy about that. Uh, when he comes, uh, the owner Dave Frick and his wife will come on Memorial Weekend with the cabinet that's going to go in here. There'll be no back to it, and we're going to cut out the right side of it and make it fit over here. Zoom in on this. Uh, we share a well here, and this is a pressure regulator bladder that's got to. Uh, being uh, in here so that's gonna be no problem the cabinet's gonna fit over that it won't be seen but dandy little bathroom moving right along here let's head on over here this is uh, the closet door nice little closet area here open that up you can see the wooden floor is extended out to there and then back into here the carpet crew is gonna leave some remnants of carpet we'll just put there there's a nice storage goes to the right real fine little thing Anyway, Freddie, there's a good look at the, the trim, all that caulking, spackling, everything, painting. I'm so glad that it's all done. No more doors to paint. Thank God for that. Coming over here as we start heading up to the bedroom, this was concrete right here, and he brought some drywall over, and uh, we drywalled it and kind of put a bullnose on the top ridge there and taped and mudded it caulking and uh, paint came out real good. Now as we go up the, uh, the stairs here, of course the carpet's going to come all the way down to the stairs, meet the wooden floor. <coughs> Excuse me. Here we go upstairs, up into the bedroom area. He's trimmed out the window up here and I just recently painted that this weekend. Came out real good. Of course, that was more caulking, more spackling the nail holes, sanding, all of that. 
Uh, I thoroughly cleaned the windows here too. I, I used a, a brand new razor blade, soap, suds, wind decks, rags, microfiber rags. See everything really good. There's Darcy's construction trailer back there. Uh, he wants to sell the whole thing, tools and everything. I had fifteen, twenty thousand dollars. I don't know. Make an offer. Here we go. Now let's open up this door. There's another door that I had to paint, of course. All that. This is where the laundry is going to go, and there's wood floor here. The rest of the bedroom is going to be carpet. But a real dandy little space here, right up in my bedroom where I can do my laundry. Be real fine. Uh, looking over this way is where the closets are. Those four doors downstairs, of course, are going to be on from there after the carpet comes. My bed is going to, the head of the bed is going to be to the right here up against the wall. And then over this way is where the TV junction box is at. Darcy came back today. We're going to fix that up and then we're going to put a splitter in so I have TV up here and downstairs. But it's going to work out just fine. Uh, the outside window is to the left. Get a nice view out there. And my closets are right here. It's just going to be fine and dandy. But as I said, Freddie, I just wish you would have been here with me. I thought of you every day. It would have been so nice, just you and me working together. Not knuckleheads like Joey with, oh, no need, no need, cuz. Or Brother Don, always, where's my tape measure? Did anybody see my tape measure? Oh, where's my hammer? Oh, try go get this. Can. What the heck, Freddie? You're a good guy, and I wish you could have been here with me on this project. Just going at our own speed and talking story like we used to. You're a good man, Freddie. God bless you. Well, I'm going to wrap it up there, folks. This is the Leavenworth Day from Leavenworth, Washington. I'm a happy camper now because it's all downhill and I can relax. Aloha.